the secret of the Lord is with them that fears him and he said he will show them his covenant he will show them he said the things that are the secrets of the Lord are for the Lord and the ones that he reveals is for men and the sons of men but he said for those that fear him the secret oh God has got secrets that is why our lives are not the same there are things that the Lord decides to teach those that reference him other version says that God makes friendship with them that revere him I can boldly tell you with confidence that God hardly shows up where he is dishonored. You can allow yourself to be deceived but if you choose to dishonor God, how do you dishonor God? By going against his word. If you trod under your foot the word of God, a day will come your life will be empty. You see the Amplified Version says some deep stuff there. He said that for God will give you deeper meaning into his promises so there are things that the Lord have said but you don't have the capacity to walk in them because you don't even understand and have a deeper meaning to what God is saying so the Bible said that God would check now you know why the Bible says the spirit of the fear of the Lord was upon Jesus you can laugh at me in this generation but I know that if I follow you to dishonor God there is something I will miss and my destiny will pay for it God does not share everything with everyone that is why he has told all of us the power in praises but only few understand because only few have feared him enough that he has given them depth of understanding I'm telling you this from the depth of my heart fear Revere him. In a generation that people are making business of him, fear him. In a generation that people sin against him and make excuses, fear him. Yeah. Because he said, it settles the matter. I will never follow you to dishonor my God. When you prove to God your heart for him, then he starts to give you such depth into the things that he said that everyone has taken it lightly have God said we should love one another except those that fear him will really be able to love because they are the ones that he will take his time to give them understanding into what we call loving the brethren so we will all be claiming let's love one another but you will see that there is one person who genuinely loves it stems from when you are able to be certified in the presence of God that you genuinely revere him you want to truly be blessed start fearing this God I know that many 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 things have shown up and have diluted people and today we, we only claim we fear him we only claim with our mouth that we fear him but you and I know you and I know that between you and God you are the master and he's your servant because all you need from him when you get it you go your way so you are only using him that same Bible we read there are those that he sit them down that is why the Bible said that do not be worried the same anointing in you will teach you there are people that God takes his time to teach them. And when, he, when God teaches you, it doesn't leave you. The sermons you forget is the sermon men teaches. That which God teaches never leaves you. There are things by virtue of reference he taught me. <laughs> and I don't care either before kings or whatever. When it comes to praises, I don't care. I saw something. I heard his voice when he began to teach me in the secrecy of my fellowship with him. And nothing, nothing, not nothing, nothing. And the things that he teaches those who fear him, 
he teaches them because he can trust them that even if they walk in abundance they will still revere him and honor him for this life is run by revelation what you can see you become Jesus said blessed are you he said unto them it is not given but you it is given for blessed are you for your eyes see and your ear hear it is time to make God first it is time you see probably you were ready to receive a blessing but this is how to prepare yourself for the blessing when the blessings come and see a heart that fears God it feels free to manifest in the secret places of your life where no pastor is there revere Jesus when your titles are not threatened and your positions are not threatened no matter the kind of character you portray at that place fear him and honor him what you will do to your wife in secret your husband in secret fear God fear and when he proves that he fears you fear him then he will start to unlock keys that the hardness of the economy cannot resist because God has given you a solution that no disease on earth can withstand because God has given you a key when he said that with men these things are impossible but with him, he meant it. It has not changed. When we say that the system is hard and there are problems, God still have a secret. He has a key. He said, I will go before you and break the gates of iron. I will go. That is when I will show you the treasures and the secret riches. They are there, but they have been hidden for some few people. But they that fear me. Cyrus, you have allowed them to build my temple. You fear me because of that. I will open up the gates and you will see that the economy is not that hard. Nations are hiding treasures from you. I will let you go after them and you will take up their treasures. Because you have feared me and have allowed my people to build. I am talking to you. I think it is high time that you come to the place of realization. Are you not tired with your hypocritical life? Are you not tired? Count all the happenings of your life. Count them and see what better thing has it offered you. If it hasn't, why don't you try genuine fear of God? Why don't you try it? and see why just just try it just try it once let me just just three months try it and you will not hide behind your theory and theology and scriptures and you will not hide behind it but you decide to leave it publicly and secretly you decide to leave it try it and let's see if your life will not be a wonder for many you want to be blessed this is a man blessing you now telling you to fear the one that blesses I could have just stand there and say three months from now everybody will be rich and it will be possible none of you will be rich but you cannot fear God and go not being blessed you can't you can't you can't it's not possible I want to bless you and this is the blessing when no one is there fear him what he has said do it his will perform it if he tells you you are going wayward cry out and come back and align it is not too late sir it is not too late it is not too late it's not it's not 
the fear of the Lord. When God himself became flesh and came on earth, he put inside of him the spirit of the fear of God. So he decided to fear himself that is in heaven. Don't let anybody deceive you. Fear him. He can kill you. So fear him. He can decide to take your breath now. 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 And as we tell you, the way we are all shouting like this, nobody, nobody here can challenge him. He can decide to let you fail now. Become poor now. Become sick now. Nobody. Nobody. Apostle Paul said that a tone from, uh, uh, from hell, a messenger from hell had been sent to buffet my, my body. I prayed to God three times and all that he said is that my grace is sufficient. He can let you suffer. And you can't question him. Fear him. Fear him. Because of God, start stopping certain things. Not because, listen, not, not because you go to hell, because of him. Just stop. Because of him. Because of him. Just be real with him. Because of him. It's his voice telling you to be prayerful, sir. Even if your body is not allowing you. Just because he said. Just because he said. Even in your sleep, be opening your mouth and be praying. If they tell you, why are you not sleeping? He said, God said. The voice of God is so heavy that when the serpent appeared in the garden, the first thing he asked him was that, what has God said? Sir, if you are joking with what God has said, you will suffer. What is God saying? Is he calling you to evangelism? Do it. Do it with reverence for him. It doesn't matter how your body feels weak. Do it. You are doing yourself so much harm always talking about what God has said and you not doing anything. Start it. Start it. Mary stayed with Jesus for 30 years. When he showed up with Jesus in public, he said, whatever this man tells you to do, do it. This is the secret. And he said that when I test your heart and I find out that you fear me, I will give you secrets. Life is not by chance. It's God that gives secrets. It's not by chance. Nothing happens by chance. Sometimes people receive secrets they don't even know it's a secret. To them, God said it, but they don't know many doesn't know. Many don't know. So God gives secrets to people they don't even know it's a secret. There's a way God can place you in a level that you think everybody is there. But it is when you have deep fellowship with people that is when you realize that sir, they are not there they are not there they are not there Lakata Bashedeba. the fear of God let your friends laugh at you fear him let your colleagues at work continue to steal and let them continue to laugh and scorn you, mock you, and say you are not wise. Fear him. Let them send you all kinds of proposals that, that will let you go through some crafty ways to make money. Reject it and let them tell you you are a fool. Still fear him. Fear God. Fear God. In a season where abortion is nothing, fear him. A time where smoking is being justified, homosexuality is being justified, pornography is being justified, please fear him. Last year in November, I joined this church last year in November. And since then, I have been consistently coming for services. I have always wanted to see the man of God, but my shyness prevented me. My husband and I relocated from where we were staying to stay in a family house with my mother-in-law. One day, 
After seeing my husband off to work, I returned back home and my son was complaining of pains in his private part. He said my mother-in-law had come to rub her hands on his private part. All my children end bed wetting at the age of two and this particular son had ended bed wetting. After that incident, my son began bed wetting and has been bed wetting from two years till now. And he is 10 years. I came to see the man of God and he prayed for me. I also have been jobless for about two years now. So I told Papa about it. And he looked into my eyes and said, I would have a job. After that prayer, it's been months and my son has never experienced bedwetting again. Glory be to Jesus forever. Just a simple declaration. Just a simple declaration on the child. And if it is that time, no? On Jesus, so beautiful. Let's celebrate the goodness of the Lord. Let's celebrate the anointing in this house. Let's celebrate the oil in this house. Can we stop the wickedness of the devil? Lift up your hands. Say any satanic wickedness around my life, my household, backfire. Hey. Grandmother playing with the child's manhood makes the child renate till almost 10 years. How many days did it take to heal the child? Every oppression in your life ends today. I said it ends today. I ends today. Come on, give the Lord a shout of praise. Amen. Please continue for us. Tuesday now, me buy it. A day after Pastor prayed for me, a friend called saying an uncle of hers has bought a phone for me free of charge. And he had added an amount of 300 Ghana CDs for the phone accessories. As I was still in shock, the uncle called asking of my job status and asked about the amount I needed to start. I mentioned without hope because I have heard many times that married women don't easily get help. A day after, this uncle sensed exactly the amount I needed to start the work. I am no more jobless. Glory be to Jesus. Listen, your helper is somewhere. It's just a force. We meet on Tuesday, Wednesday the call comes through. Her job is in her hands. I remember she told me she has not been working for years now. I said, I look in. I said, look at me, you will work again. Under 24 hours. Can I prophesy to somebody? When you for boss of where if you believe God for a 24 hour miracle, lift up your hands. I pray any help tarrying for years. By the word of the living God, I release it under 24 hours. I pray that tomorrow morning, as people are celebrating their own disasters, somebody here will be celebrating your own breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, breakthroughs are in men. May you encounter your helper. May you encounter your helper. May you encounter your helper. Give the Lord a shout.